want to begin by uh, congratulating Cindy. Um, more than 40 years ago, I graduated from the University of Chicago, and I know that's no mean feat. So congratulations to you, and uh, I wish you the best in your struggle to uh, secure citizenship. You know, I'm proud to be from Illinois because we have in Illinois the two sponsors of the DREAM Act, both Congressman Gutierrez and, and Senator Durbin. And uh, that's a pretty astonishing coincidence. It reflects very well on our leadership. Before I start, I want to acknowledge not only uh, my colleague, Danny Solis, of course, who just spoke, but my former colleague, uh, Manny Flores, and I see Will Burns, who's going to succeed me in the fourth ward, and Tom Tunney, where's Tom? If I, if I came up here and didn't, didn't acknowledge people who sit in the city council, I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> I, want to, I want to acknowledge them. You know, I'm, I'm a history teacher by profession in addition to being a public servant for the last 20 years. And uh, I know that anti-immigrant sentiment is uh, not uh, without precedent in the history of this country. Actually, if you look at it, with every wave of immigration we had in this country, we had corresponding anti-immigrant sentiment. And uh, as, as, as my colleagues from the city council know, uh, Alderman Burke would occasionally get up in the city council and, and uh, wave an old copy of the, of, of the Chicago Tribune at advertising the job, job notices, and at the bottom it would say, no Irish need apply. This is from the, the, the end of the 1800s. And that was, of course, before the 1920s and, and, and later when the bottom would say, no colored need apply. Um, but we have a long, unfortunate history in this country of not only um, a racism, frankly, but anti-immigrant sentiment. And we, there has always been, always been a struggle on the part of people who care about civil rights and social justice to stand up for our immigrant population. And everybody in this country is the descendant, with a, we have a small native population, but the descendant of immigrants or slaves. And we need to understand, uh, as was said earlier that, uh, by Danny, that we, we have a great country because it has drawn people from around the world who want to be in an environment where there's political freedom, where there's economic freedom, where there's an opportunity to make lives better, not only for yourself, but especially for your children. So again, I, I want to thank I want to thank Senator Durbin. I want to thank Congressman Gutierrez in his absence for his leadership on this issue. It makes us all proud. 